Toyota has been facing so much criticism for the new Tacoma models, and they've given an answer. The new Tacoma iForce Max. It shocked the whole industry, and if you knew everything, you would be too. They've been upgrading the Tacoma with useless extra features, but this time they're doing something different. So watch till the end because this is everything you need to know. Performance we all know how famous and beloved the Toyota Tacoma is, and it's actually been the best-selling truck several times, but they've also faced a lot of criticism, and now are getting a much-needed update. But this doesn't mean everything is going to be fine and every issue will be fixed. In fact, much of their new updates on recent models have been nothing useful, and actually, that's one of the criticisms that Toyota has been facing. But next year, they're releasing a new generation, which means there will be entirely new features and design elements. I'm sure by now, you must have seen a lot of videos and reviews, but what is Toyota actually solving on the new models? There wouldn't be any point in all of this if it didn't fix the issues, address our needs, and actually provide something good, something of value, right? We have to be honest, and even if you are a fan of the Tacoma, or not, you can't deny how awesome this truck is. It is very reliable. After all, this is Toyota, and their car's resale value is always too good to just ignore. That is why they have so many fans all over the world, and their fans have been demanding a change, and most of it is for a good reason, and some of it is just minor things that can be ignored, or at least the small things that we can compromise for the sake of all the pros and benefits of the Tacoma. But often, minor issues are the ones that make the headlines, and Toyota has been listening, and this is their answer. They've updated and fixed these issues, like the fact that the Tacoma can be outdated in terms of technological features, but this is not that important. We're not saying that they don't matter, they do, but they're not essential. And don't be fooled, we're not saying the new generation is just full of extra features. Like we said, Toyota has been listening. They've upgraded much needed things, like the engine and its power output. But we should talk about this in depth and we will in just a few minutes. But before that, we should talk about what didn't work for the Tacoma in the past and what should be updated for the new models. First and foremost, we have to talk about the elephant in the room, simplicity. The Tacoma is simple. Sure, Toyota comes up with small, useless extra features now and then, but at the core of it, the Tacoma is simple, and that may be a good or bad thing for you. It's totally objective. But being simple means the Tacoma is actually providing something for the buyer. Simplicity forces any company to do at least one thing that you and I can be satisfied with, or not based on our preferences. This is the same concept the new Nissan Frontier is built upon, this is what gives the truck its reputation. For the Tacoma, it's being reliable and able to do what you need it to do. You usually don't hear people complaining about the Tacoma's capability or reliability issues. But what you will hear is how bland and outdated this truck is. And this is making Toyota stir off from its simplistic approach, and they're now doubling down on the same extra technological features. This will make sense when we talk about the design. Design. The Tacoma's got a sweet new front grille. The Trail Hunter and TRD Pro models rock the classic Toyota Heritage front grille stamp, while the Limited model goes for a more stylish and sleek look, with a low overhang up front and cool rugged fog lamps adding a touch of toughness. The Tacoma is now available in a hybrid version, and the new hybrid badge makes it easy to spot. This circular emblem signifies an electrified vehicle and aligns with Toyota's Beyond Zero philosophy which encompasses the entire range of Toyota's electrified vehicles, including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, fuel cell vehicles, and beyond zero. But that's not all. If you take a closer look at the new sharp headlights, you can see the tiny Tacoma label on the side. They've thought about the details. Plus, there is an iForce Max badge on the side, which lets you know you're dealing with a hybrid Tacoma. And the limited model comes with fancy chrome mirrors, while the limited badge and chrome door handles add a touch of elegance to the exterior. As the only model with full four-wheel drive, the limited Tacoma stands out with its shiny chrome wheels. At the back, there is a chrome exhaust with a Toyota emblem that adds a touch of class to the whole truck, while the Tacoma stamp embossed into the taillight is a nice finishing touch. And for the first time ever, the Tacoma features a power tailgate that opens and closes automatically, making it super easy to access the bed. Plus, there's an easy tailgate button on the side, so you can bump it with your elbow or knee if your hands are full. It has a high-clearance rear bumper and features a visible lift point, but the hitch is now welded to the frame rails, which is better than using only one point of contact and much safer. Plus, it has a digital rear-view camera that gives you a live peep at what's behind you, 
so no worries about sneaky passengers or hidden cargo blocking your view. And for those late night drives or off-road escapades, the 360 degree camera and panoramic view monitor have got your back. Overall, the design has been loved by so many people, and all the current models out to be shown are not production models, so there will be a few changes, especially on the interior, but nothing major. So let's talk about it. Interior Design The Tacoma comes equipped with a JBL speaker, bottle holders, a versatile storage compartment, and a blind spot indicator integrated into the side mirror to keep you safe on the road. You can find several practical buttons, like the power tailgate and tailgate light, along with audio connections, cruise control buttons, and a digital gauge cluster. There is a heads-up display and a 14-inch touchscreen display, and the rest of the center stack is conveniently located to the right of this area. The second row of the double cab of the new Tacoma feels a bit cramped, especially with the first row seats pushed back far, but it is an improvement from the previous models. Tacoma has always made the legroom limited, but there's ample headroom, especially on the newer generation. The hybrid battery is also located under the second row, so when folded down, the second row seats create a flat space with a slight angle. But there's a JBL speaker hidden behind the 60-40 split seats, and hooks and tie-downs are provided for securing cargo. Now, this might be a bit different for each trim, but the basic things are the same, and that is good this truck is designed very well, in our opinion, but year after year, Tacoma has been getting bigger and bigger, and we just want to see the size difference inside the cabin. Of course, this might mean compromising on cargo bed size, and who wants a smaller bed ever? But this depends on each customer. What do you think is enough for you? The Tacoma comes standard with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, the brand's most advanced suite of safety features. This comprehensive package includes the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning with steering, assist, and automatic high beams. All of this is free. It's available without any extra payment. This is an impressive thing for Toyota to do, but the starting price is what actually makes a difference. But hold on, because we'll get there in a few minutes. This is Toyota. There's no worries about safety, and additionally, they give you the Toyota Care, which provide two years or 25,000 miles of complimentary roadside assistance and scheduled maintenance. Now, let's talk about the most important thing. Engine options. The 2023 Tacoma comes with three powertrain options, each geared towards different needs and preferences. The base SR model rocks a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, dubbed the iForce, designed to crank up the power and efficiency compared to the previous 3.5-liter V6. This iForce powerhouse pumps out a beefy 278 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. Plus, the iForce engine comes paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission, a first for the Tacoma, promising better fuel economy and overall performance. Moving up to the SR5 and higher trim levels, the powertrain becomes an iForce Max, an amped-up version of the iForce engine hooks up to an electric motor. This combo unleashes an impressive 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque, allowing you to tow up to 6,500 pounds. While there's a slight dip in towing capacity compared to the previous model's 6,800 pound rating with the V6 engine, the iForce Max makes up for it with its superior power, torque, and anticipated fuel economy gains. The iForce Max also sports a unique hybrid-specific 10-speed automatic transmission that optimizes power delivery and efficiency. To add to its versatility, the iForce Max offers four distinct driving modes – EV, Normal, Sport, and Tow and & Haul letting you tailor the truck's performance and feel to suit your driving style and needs. Price and release date But the best thing about this car is that we know it's going to last you a while, and the resale price almost never goes down. The price and release date of the new model will, of course, depend on the model you're getting, but all options will be available in the spring of 2024, and the price is expected to be around $30,000 for the base model and $50,000 for the top-of-line configuration. But what do you think? Is this worth your money? Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.